shit I've done, baby, all the shit I've dealt with. I be with my new bitch, ooh, acting reckless. Shining like the sun, baby, girl, don't be selfish. Can you help me? Baby, I can't help me. Hey, Dak, turn this shit up. Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video here on my channel and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to obtain and save a modded black joggers outfit with the Tron shoes, the trash vest and the black racing gloves after patch 1.50 So hope you guys do go on to enjoy this video and if you do, please make sure to let me know by leaving a comment down below and also leave a comment if you want to see more modded outfit tutorials like this video and also leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you're new and enjoy my videos but Anyways, let's get, into this, let's get straight into the video so I hope you guys do go on to enjoy so the first thing you want to do is make sure you have that outfit on that you want to keep because we will be doing the transfer glitch in this video. So anyways, you want to have that outfit on that you want to keep. Then you want to just bring up your pause menu, go to online and then you just want to go ahead and swap a character. So you just want to go down to the swap character and you just want to go ahead and select it and then you want to wait until you load in. So you should see that you have your male character, then there should be a second character. If you haven't already um, selected the second character, then you want to go ahead and press X or A to edit the second character. But if you already have a female character, then you can just load into GTA Online with the female character. And if it says to copy the rank, then you want to go ahead and do that. Now you want to make sure there's a female, so if it isn't, just switch from male to female. Then you just want to go ahead and press save and continue. So now when you load into GTA Online, you will see the Diamond Casino Resort um, trailer. So you just want to go ahead and wait for that to finish. Now once you've loaded into GTA Online, you just want to go ahead and make sure that your, um, the clothing stores are available. Because sometimes when you load into GTA Online with a new character, there isn't any clothing stores. But for me, I got quite, um, I got quite lucky and there was clothing stores. So you just want to go ahead and make your way over to any clothing store. I'm just going to make my way over to this clothing store here. So now once you're inside, you want to make sure, because some of the standard outfits do have accessories, you just want to make sure you take all the accessories off. So now you want to go ahead and copy the outfits that I make. So we're going to be making two outfits to get this modded outfit. So the first thing you want to do is go to utility pants and put on the black battle pants. So I have here, it should be number 37, so just a second to last. So now you want to go to the top section, and you want to go down to bomber jackets, just like I do here. Now you want to go to the very bottom, and it should be number 45, which is the red double P varsity. So once you have that equipped, you just want to go ahead and make your way over to the accessory section. So once you're over at the accessory section, you want to scroll down to gloves, and you want to go down to number 4, which should be the light woodland tactical gloves. So you just want to go ahead and equip them. So now this is the first outfit already done, so you just want to go ahead and save this outfit. So I do, I also like to name the outfits just like what they're going to be um, when they're merged over. So I'm just going to name this Black Top 1. So you guys can name it whatever you want, but you can also name it like this if you want to. So I just named the Black Top 1 there. Now you want to go over back to the trousers section or the pants section. You want to go down to sports pants and equip the first one which is the sported muscle pants. So now once you have this on, you want to go over to the top section. Now you want to go down to the leather jackets and you want to go down to number 66 which should be the blue crop biker so now you just want to go ahead and equip that now you also want to go down to the tuck t-shirt section and then you want to go down to number 11 which should be the black classic so now you just want to go ahead and buy that and then equip it so now you want to make your way over to the shoe section and you want to go over to boots and you want to go down to number 31, I'm pretty sure it's 31 and you want to go ahead and um, equip the black black chocolate slack boots or the chocolate slack boots my bad so yeah number 31 you, got, you want to go ahead and buy them so now you can just go ahead and save this outfit so those are the two outfits you're going to need to make the black joggers outfit so, that, so I'm just going to go ahead and name this um, vest 1 so now once you have these two outfits saved so these are the two outfits you should have so now once you have them, you want to bring up your interaction menu and just take the easy way out. So what this will do, this will actually force a game save, so it just saves everything, so all the outfits you just made. So now you just want to wait until you load back in, now you want to bring up your pause menu, you want to go to online and you want to go to creator. 
and you want to go ahead you want to go ahead and select creator and i'll just wait until you load into creator so now once you've loaded into creator you want to go down to create a race and then you want to go over to land race so now you just want to wait for it to zoom back in now for the race details the title description can just be anything you just put a bunch of random letters for the photo you can just do the same you can just take a random photo now you want to make sure that the maximum players is on two and the route type is on point to point so you need to make sure you do this otherwise it will not work now for the default class you can just change the super super and then just use any um fast car to just speed up the process so now for the select trigger you want to back out once and go to trigger location then i recommend just warping over to the airport so once you're over the airport you just want to go ahead and place the trigger location anywhere around this area so you just want to go ahead and place that for the lobby camera just take a random photo now, you wanna, now for the checkpoints you want to kind of copy what I do so you just want to roughly have the same as what I do so you want to put you want to make sure that it is at least a 0.71 so I'm, I made mine 0.73 which is probably what I recommend but you just want to make sure it's over 0.71 so as you can see mine 0.73 so anyway you want to back out twice and then just go ahead and test the race So once you've completed the test race, you just want to go ahead and accept that um, pop-up. Now you want to bring up your pause menu, go to online and go over to choose character. So now you just want to wait until you load into the choose character. So now once you load in, you should see your two characters walk out, your male and your female character. So you just want to wait until it zooms in and then you're able to um, interact. So this is where you want to delete your female character. So with this part, it will make you type delete to delete the female character. You just want to go ahead and do that. Then you will see um, a random character walk out with your male character. So you just want to wait until they've walked out. Then you want to go ahead and press B or circle to back out to GTA 5. You don't want to bring your uh, male character online because it will mess up the glitch. You want to back out to story mode. So now once you load it into story mode, you want to go to online and then you want to go into an invite only session. Now you just want to wait until you load into an invite only session. So for the final part of this glitch, um, we're going to be doing the merge components. So you're going to be merging the black racing gloves as you will see in a second. So when you spawn in, you should have your um, outfit that you wanted to save. So I loaded, in, I loaded in like in the shower, so you just want to wait until you load in. So I, as I said, I loaded into shower. So if you did as well, you just want to go ahead and back out of that. And wait until you backed out. So now you should see your character walk out with the outfit on that you had before. So you just want to go ahead and save this outfit to the last slot on your saved outfits. And you should see the black top and the vest one will be saved in your outfits at the very top. So you just want to go ahead and save this. I just named it main. So you want to go ahead and go back, back out into the outfits. Go down to biker suits and you want to go ahead and equip the black biker suit. If you don't have this already, then just make your way over to any clothes store and just go ahead and buy it. Now you want to bring up your pause menu, go to online jobs, go to Rockstar Created, go down to Versus and you want to start Cricket Cop. So now you just want to wait until you load into Cricket Cop. Now the only thing you need to change is the clothes and you want to make sure it's on player owned. Then you just want to go ahead and confirm settings and wait for a person to join or you can get a friend to join. Actually wait for a random person to join. So now once you load into the mission, you want to press find a d-pad twice to scroll through the outfits. And you should see it scrolls to this outfit, so the trash vest and the racing gloves with the black sports top. So now you just want to wait until you load in. So this is that modded outfit you'll be getting. So now you just want to wait until you can move around. Then once you can move around, you want to bring up the interaction menu, go to style and accessories, and you can either equip a rebreather or an earpiece. Then you just want to bring up your phone and just quit the job. So now you just want to wait until you load back into GT Online. So you should spawn um, back behind the ammunition store and sometimes there's a car there as well but sometimes it isn't sometimes you just have to run to the front of the ammunition store so i just loaded in now and you will see i loaded behind the ammunition store with the modern outfit and i did have a car here so i was quite lucky so if, if there's no car you just want to go ahead and run around to the front but i just drove around to the front because the car was there so now once you've made your way over to the front you can just go ahead and save the outfit now once you save the outfit you can just go ahead and delete the two components to make the outfit 
So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to let me know in the comments down below. And if you want to see more outfits like this, and also leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new and enjoy my content. So anyways, thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you in my next video. And peace.